Alex Hanser here. It is April 4th in the year 2018, so we're on the other side of the full moon. A lot of heavy energy. We had a big event yesterday. Kept me up at least until 9 o'clock at night refreshing news.google.com and watching the mainstream media coverage of the shooting. And we got to be able to step back also from the internet. So for me, it's cross training. I'll get on the internet and I'll put out some ideas and I'll do some stuff from home. And then I'll go out, maybe not completely into nature on a deep level, but go alongside a river, walk in town for a little bit, maybe have a cup of coffee, journal by the river, maybe stick my feet in the river, find somewhere warm to jump in, which I do on occasion. And there's a few nice spots around here uh, that, are, uh, that are places that I visit on a regular basis. So for me, I do what I need to do to keep going. If others are not leading a healthy lifestyle or aligning themselves with actual spiritual truths, they may find themselves perceiving information to be negative or toxic because they haven't yet learned how to meditate, how to ground, how to improve their diet, how to find a, a place in North America that's more ideal for their, uh, their genetic code. You know, that's one of the reasons why I've been traveling. I don't know that Portland, the place that I was born in, is ideal for my genetics. I think that elements of Colorado. Although I was born at sea level, and sometimes I miss that extra oxygen. And so for someone like me to do what I do, and to anger people that were only attracted to some video that they perceive to be spiritual, only to be angered by other things that they will label unspiritual, how quick they are to judge something of the positive as well as the negative. Which is also why I'm a little cautious when I respond to praise. I give people a little bit of time before much engagement to see if they're consistent in um, a positive demeanor or if they're quick to anger and go on attack mode if they come across information that they rather not be shared. And that's censorship. That censorship when people want to turn their favorite YouTube channels into their iPod. Your iPod is your iPod, but someone else's YouTube channel is going to continue to be diverse. It's not going to be at the same time or the same day. It's not going to be the same topics. And especially if their moniker is outside the box, then no, it, it's not just going to stay on what you might think is spiritual or what you might think are the relevant geopolitical news or updates or, or commentary on Portland or off-grid living. You may be pulled in by content that you really, really appreciated, only to be horrified to find other content that was not in line with your in-the-box or what you're comfortable with uh, believing, seeing, and hearing. But that doesn't actually take away from this value that this has to different people. There are different people watching this channel that are pulling different bits of information. And so the best advice that I can give you is to take what applies and leave the rest. So you can continue to have a spiritual experience as you hear about things that are going on in the world. Uh, you can take a deep breath and learn how to ground out that automatic reactive sense of anger and repulsion. I would definitely recommend listening to the, uh, the podcast or the recordings of Essen Goinka, who's known as uh, one of the main teachers of uh, Vipassana meditation. And one of the things you know, that I recall from that period, it was difficult to focus, but the 10 days of sitting in silence, uh, you know, not spending time flirting with the opposite sex or checking out your, uh, what's on the cell phone, and abstaining from meat and perhaps other acts of, of physical pleasure. <laughs> you know, and being in a more calm mindset. And that was a couple years before I got involved, about two to three in the alternative media and starting my Access TV show. And it was about observing the breath in and out. There's a place, time and a place for grounding and visualization and deep breathing. But to just simply in this exercise that I'm discussing, observe your breath going in and out through the nostrils and then observing that sensation and then observing what's happening with your head space, chest, different body parts. Observing those feelings but not automatically reacting, scratching, or moving around. Attempting to be as serene and calm as possible. And so I would suggest personal work as we go through this. It's one of the things that I have to do, you know, after yesterday's news, 
I realize that today I have to spend at least a few hours walking by the river uh, to pull out of that funk. Because when we go in there with our story of truth and light, sometimes it is a war that some people will call negative. But we got to go in there and we got to listen to those reports and see the inconsistencies. Okay, you're saying one thing at one moment. Oh, oh, and now you're saying it wasn't a domestic dispute, but that she went after you two. And it's like, we need to, you need to have people that are willing to keep their ear to the ground. And so when something's being reported or a link share, you know, I, I haven't actually had to explain this for about six years. It isn't necessarily an endorsement of that headline. Sometimes you have to literally look to see if someone wrote commentary. That commentary could be, look at this disinformation that's trying to create fear of a particular group so they're persecuted. We shouldn't believe in this, but we should be aware that a group is being persecuted. And see, a lot of people are addicted with the feel good all the time fake spirituality. A lot of them find my channel because there was something that actually helped them. It could have been a conversation about grounding. It could have been a conversation about psychic protection. And they may not know how the other videos connect with that same conversation. So if someone isn't protecting their psyche and they're being told that this group is make, making this threats and so we literally have a day and age where people classify people based on their name. How do I know this? I've lived it. My last name is what it is. And I can't change that. And some people, they're only picking up on some elements about me or what they want to hear. They may not know my life story. Or they may have chosen to ignore those videos where I explain things already in past videos. Like for hours and hours and hours. Like the... Uh, uh, the Life Story uh, podcast series, which you can type in, which would be new for some of you listeners, where I start going into the major life experiences that I had in a free flow podcast, uh, and that was uh, right by the river, the Rio Grande River, in Costilla County, Colorado, in the fall of 2015. That was a powerful time for me as a man to bear my chest, if you will, and share with you those details as I did the other day about escaping the AA cult and finding recovery for myself and sharing with you what most men won't share with you about the mistakes they've made. And I've done it with my birthday. And so there's amount of, uh, a certain amount of courage that I've shared with you and I've shown you. Now, if someone talks about a strategic risk, right? Sometimes it takes bravery and a man to pull his pants up, so to speak, and to stand up tall, to be able to look at those geopolitical risks and to go, well, it is possible that journalists in America could be targeted either by this government or foreign governments. Look how long I've been warning about China. What if, what if one-fifth of the things that I've warned you about come true? Just one-fifth. What, you don't think China would place people that have been critical of their rise? in a particular box or category, especially when that nation may already be involved in organ harvesting. Why would someone not watch their back? Why would someone not live a careful life? I didn't pick a life where I can live like a typical YouTuber and go around just hanging around and, hey, come on over, let's have some beers. The content is intense that I cover. And what it does is it alienates me from actual real friends and limits me to only those that are watching on the internet. I do not have actual male or female allies for hundreds of miles that I'm aware of. There may be people that watch my channel that like some of the things that I do and you may support and maybe you've even donated in some way. And I appreciate that because every bit counts because the ambition to continue to do YouTube videos and speak the truth uh, there has to be a lot of personal discipline and focus because while I'm not in free fall and I've rebounded from the situation where I was making $80 in a month, I'm not much more than 200 So for me to keep going and maintain this passion, I have to be very focused and disciplined. So someone could overlook that discipline that comes with living in isolation without family off the grid and choose to judge someone because of that one-tenth or that one one hundredth. In a lot of cases, we all know it's that one one hundredth. That one one hundredth, that all the things that were said, that one one hundredth, that one one hundredth opinion that then made me flushable down the toilet. And to see a couple people do that in the same week, 
and to see Patreon support go down by a third in a week. By a third. It takes focus and courage because I do believe that people that are going to continue to speak their truth on YouTube after a shooting, they can find themselves in hot water for their channel. But I'm actually concerned about internment. More than just certain ethnicities targeted, but I think that's on the table. But you will also see the attack on journalism, so where this isn't about ethnicity. This is about what you know, what you're reporting, uh, what your metadata history is on the internet. You take a guy like me who's been involved on the internet for a number of years, and you add a few other things on top, who wouldn't be a little anxious? And so I have to have balance. Okay, so I'm gonna go off grid from the major metropolitan areas, but I'm gonna to continue to reporting from off the grid about things going on in those major metropolitan areas. And for me, it feels like a spiritual practice because people typically don't do that. And the people that I know off the grid don't support the things that I talk about or believe. They're different off-gridders, and that's fine. But I know when I'm not liked. I know when I'm strongly disliked because of the content on this channel. I know right away when someone's being genuine, when they're acting like a friend, or when they're not, and certain people that I've come across, including in the streets. And it's like, that's intuition that sometimes you're born with, and then other people that aren't born with it don't believe that it does exist. It's just like there's a debate whether or not a soul even exists. And I think some people that question if a soul exists uh, may not automatically have one. Because I feel the truth is we are, as souls, many of us, many of you, um, but not all of you, but many of you. I don't know that all of you have a soul. I know that there's mostly human beings that are watching my channel, but some are doing it for data collection. Some are doing it for other reasons, and we all know this. And whether they're AI or whether they're a cyborg that's in a lab somewhere floating in water, you know, now I'm being a little bit comical. But the stuff that we put out on YouTube isn't watched just by us or the people that we think are our friends or supporters. So I think about a lot of the advice that I've given regarding psychic protection and how some people may have misused it, abused it, or taken some of those uh, hour-long videos for granted, like something that I just made up instead of it being information that has been passed down from person to person to person that more and more people are aware of now. Some of the methods of cleaning out your energy, how this is not witchcraft. Uh, you do have an energy field around your body. There is an energy field around the planet. It's called the Earth's magnetic field. Yes, space does exist. Yes, the sun does exist. Yes, I do believe the flat Earth movement is a psyops to get someone to believe the absurd and then to take the psychosis to the next level. To where even though I'll attack YouTubers that don't get on board, fascist style, their understanding. Are they on board my understandings with regards to other things? One thing you're not hearing from me is that they're all killing us. I believe in consciousness beyond chemtrails. I believe that just because 5G is coming doesn't mean it's the end of the world. I think that we need more compassion for all living beings. I'm not a vegan. Am I willing to go periods without eating meat? Yes. Do I like to hear from vegans that are on the conscious side of reality that aren't going to judge me wholesale for eating some meat? Yes, I want to hear from those folks. Uh, I want to live amongst people and are in a society where we're, where we're living beyond money and we're not on the internet and we're building something. Earthships. And we're growing food and, and we're doing art. We're creating our own goods. I haven't talked about creating your own goods because it's not something that I've really been involved in. But local currency... Uh, local products, people being able to live uh, in a community without police or big banks, men and women living together where their relationship to each other is more important than what's in their bank account, men and women living around each other, working together, not being a cult, but being mature humans to where it's not about who's screwing who, to where they're above that. They can actually operate with each other, people from different backgrounds and different sexes that are not in competition or at war with each other without being a socialist cult. I do believe that a bunch of friends can get together, have a party, and have breakfast tomorrow. I believe. I have a dream. And so over time, I'd love to get to know some of you or accidentally bump into some of you in Colorado. I pray to the creator that an audience member may show up that has a business 
or a place of employment, or happens to be in Colorado, uh, that may feel called to help. At present, that does not exist. But I will throw out that affirmation because, see, I believe in the power of positive thought, but if we have been tasked with a destiny to walk as a spiritual warrior and say the things that haven't been said, then we are not here to appease our audience members. We're here to serve the Creator. Now, if we're here to serve the Creator, and a part of that is to speak a particular truth about this uh, archonic uh, attack on mankind, then those that are actually taken already by the Archons will keep coming at us through the social media engagement or through elements of the world. It doesn't mean that that represents all, but there may be times in which it seems that I'm hearing more from that dark side and less from a supportive side. But ultimately, when I step back and clear out my own consciousness and lower self, if you will, and I look at reality as it is, hands down, no dispute, it is mostly positive and supportive on an energetic, and we're talking even non-verbal level, the type of feeling that I get and positive feeling that I get when I put out a video that helps some of you think. And then some people that are encouraged to think start thinking about certain things and then smoke starts appearing in the brain and it blows circuits. And so instead of it be a positive thing, it's actually a negative thing. And so I want to help people understand things. Just like last night, someone was uh, putting out, oh, no wonder why they hate us. And he was going on one of those big, long speeches. And it's like, it's sad that awareness of what the U.S. has done to Middle Eastern people and countries, right? It shouldn't automatically lead you to think that anyone Middle Eastern or Muslim is planning you harm or angry with you. In fact, you should know there's many Muslims uh, and people of Middle Eastern heritage because they're not, they're not the same, and I shouldn't have to explain this. But people still do think it's the same if they're calling uh, the woman accused of the YouTube event a Muslim simply because she's Iranian. I don't know Muslims that uh, do exercise videos like her showing that, uh, showing that rear end. Up and down. Up and down. You know, it's like one of those, like, you know, 80s uh, infomercials where, uh, what was that blonde lady where she had the whole, like, open, close. You know, I forget what that was. It was to build muscles in your thighs, this device. Yeah, that, that doesn't look very Islamic. Uh, and so, to me, when my suspicions are confirmed, and I talk to you about this stuff, and I make a podcast about it on Patreon. And I even made a podcast about somebody attacking me for showing concerns about an event to be blamed on Middle Eastern people. And then when it actually happens on the eve of April 3rd, 2018, why is it a negative that I had sight? Why is it a negative that the, some of the things that I've been concerned about, we're seeing them on the horizon? How can someone's knowledge to actually call something be used for the highest good? What type of questions could be asked? What kind of things can we ponder? You see, if someone wants to see negativity in the world or in themselves or in someone else, they'll see nothing but negativity. And they will filter out all those spiritual podcasts, all those spiritual ideas, because of the influence within themselves. So I do believe in being one of the very few in the alternative media, independent media, talking to you about protecting your psyche against Archon Mind Hijack. And ever since I started calling them out on what they're doing to not only some audience members, but many around the world, many in the Middle East, many in our societies, many in Portland, many in this, this county, you see, there's, there's no separation. There's no borders in the spiritual world. When you're dealing with spiritual parasites, they're not going, oh, I like that racial group, oh, I don't like, no. They're going to use different racial groups to turn us against each other while they rule and control from the unseen realms. That's how things work here in this prison planet. And I have dedicated my entire lifetime to exposing what they do to free mankind. To some people, that's negative. And that's not focusing on the pleasures of the flesh. To me, it's why I entered the flesh. I entered the flesh in this lifetime with my genetics and even with the challenges of having my middle and last name. To rise above hardship, to be a survivor, not a victim. This is why my story will be told in full, in writing. It's to help many humans around the planet find their strength. No one's gonna stop this momentum. And to me, that's a positive. That's not a negative. 
So people will take what they want from this channel and others will be in the matrix. I'm Alex Ansari coming to you from this beautiful river. Please sign up to the Patreon page and help me yield this blow that I'm taking from YouTube. Uh, you'll find it down below in the description. Sign up for any amount per month. It would be great if a few of you signed up for $10 a month to help offset some of the things. I'm also looking at the possibility that I'm going to have to shut off my internet uh, due to costs around April 24th. So we'll see where that goes as my car continues to work. I'm Alex Hansery signing off, reminding you the path to the ultimate truth and place of power still lies within.